Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about one time vendor in SAP MM. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Like and share this video, share the knowledge, sharing is caring. Now let us start. In this video, we will learn about one-time vendor in SAP MM. Let us first understand what is one-time vendor is. We want to make a purchase something from a new vendor. And this is the first time we are going to purchase from this vendor. And we already know that this is the last time also from this vendor. That is, we are not going to purchase from this vendor at all in future. This is called as a one-time vendor. Let us take an example. Our company ABC Limited requires 120 quantity of a stationery. So our company raised a purchase order for 120 quantity on the name of XYZ vendor. Okay, so this is the first time when we are going to purchase this from this XYZ vendor and we are not going to purchase from this vendor at all in future. So in this case XYZ vendor is our one time vendor. Okay, now let us do the practical. First we will configure our one time vendor SPRO click on IMG financial accounting new click on financial accounting and sorry click on accounts receivable and accounts payable click on vendor accounts click on master data preparations for creating vendor master data define account group with screen layout vendors click on the execute button here double zero double nine is already defined for one time vendors if you want to copy the records if you want to copy the vendor account group then select the double zero double nine one time vendor account and click on the copy as or we can click on the new entries also so in our example in uh, in this video we'll click on the new entries here we have to give code for our account group description and we have to tick on this one time account so that system will consider this account as a one time account okay in field status general data company code data and purchasing data so we will click on general data first in general data there are uh, address group communication control payment transactions contact persons so i will click on address see the fields here we can change the status of the field as per our requirement suppress require entry optional entry or display entry okay so uh, for example search term by default is optional entry we will change this to require entry so that at the time of creating a vendor master in xk01 so this field will be mandatory field we have to enter our search term at the time of creating vendor master okay in xk01 now i will save the record okay i will take back now create number ranges for vendor accounts in this step we can create our number range for one time vendor account i will click on the change intervals if we want to create a new number range then we have to uh, click on this insert interval right now uh, we will work on this 01 number range which is already available over here so i will take a back right now uh, then assign number ranges to vendor accounts group click on the execute button our vendor uh, group is a t13 so we have to assign number range 01 to our to our t13 one time vendor account group so i will assign number in 01 to our t13 one time vendor group which we have created just now okay now we will save the record now we will create vendor master to create a vendor master we will use a transaction code xk01 here we have to give our uh, 
company code, purchasing organization and account group. Our account group is T13. I will press enter. In title, I will select company. In the name of the vendor, I will select a one time vendor. Now see, in this search term, search term entry is mandatory. Why? In our configuration settings, we have changed this field status to mandatory, that is required entry. By default, this field was optional entry, but we have changed this field to mandatory. So, we have to enter our search term, okay? Press enter. Press enter. In reconciliation account, 1,60,000. In cash management group, select A1. Payment terms immediately. Done procedure not required. Order currency EUR. And save the record. So, our vendor 23 number has been created for company code 1000 and purchasing organization 1000. So, vendor is 23. Now, we will create a purchase order. To create a purchase order, we will use a transaction code ME21N. We will enter that uh, vendor code over here, 23. Okay. We have to give our material quantity. Okay. In our example, we have taken as 120 quantity. I will mention over here 120. Okay. We have to enter our, our plant. So we have entered our plant. Now see in header data. Okay. I will click on this header data. So see now we have mentioned over here our one time vendor and the address field is blank. Okay. Address field is blank. So in case of one time vendor, we have to enter the address. We have to enter the address of this uh, vendor that is one time vendor okay street house number okay postal and city code po city country telephone number okay see so this is the difference between regular vendor and one time vendor at the time of creating of purchase order in case of vendor uh, in case of a uh, one time vendor we have to manually enter all the details of that vendor okay i will click on the check button okay Partner function is not required uh, for us right now. So, we will save the record. We will save the purchase order. Okay. Now, see, standard purchase order created under number uh, 17223. So, this is how we can uh, create uh, our uh, one-time vendor. Okay. So, what is the difference? See, I will uh, show you. I will put over here 1000 vendor. 1000 is our standard vendor. Okay, when I press 1000, system will fetch the address details, which is already saved in their master data. Okay, so this is our regular vendor. Okay, in case of one time vendor, we have to manually enter all the address details. Okay, this is a major difference between our regular vendor and one time vendor. So that's all now for so that's all for now in this video and uh, thanks for watching with this video keep in touch and bye bye